In this video, we're going to go over the uh, TI-84 plus calculator and use that in order to calculate basic statistics. The steps and processes that I'm going to do in this video will also work for the TI-83 or regular TI-84 calculators as well because the keyboard layout and menu layouts are the same. Um, the first thing that you want to do if any time that you're given a data list such as this one, we don't need to do anything in terms of figuring out mean, standard deviation, or five number summary. The calculator will do all of those processes for us. All we need to do is get the data into the calculator and then ask it to run its functions. So how do we do that? Well, everything that we're doing here is basic statistics. And so the stat button on your calculator, which is right here, is going to be your home base. So if I push that stat button, it's going to pull up this menu. The edit menu allows us to enter our data into lists. And so we want to edit a list like this. Now, chances are you might have some data in your lists already, um, and you want to enter some new information. So we'd like to erase our data before we start. To erase data, what you would like, the easiest way to do it is to click the little up arrow until the list name is highlighted, and then tell the list that you want to clear everything from the list. So you hit the clear button and hit enter, and notice it wiped out everything in list one. Let's go ahead and do that with the list two as well. We can use the arrow buttons to go over and up to highlight the list to title. Then we want to hit clear and enter, and that will clear all of the data that is in that list. Now that I have a clean slate, I'm ready to go ahead and enter my data list here into my calculator screen here. Now, in this first problem, all I have is a big list of commute times home, um, and I want to find the average commute time in minutes and look at what those different number summary types are. So what I want to do is in list one, always put this uh, the data in list one, I'd like to go ahead and just enter in each of those values. So the first one I'm going to do here is 40. Um, hit enter, then the next time was 38. The next commute time was 43, 55, 41, 42, 83, and then 40. Okay, so once you've got all of the data in the list, then we need to ask the calculator to calculate it for us. So again, we're looking at statistics, so hit the stat button. Arrow over until to the right so that the calc line up here, had the calc heading is highlighted. And then what we want to ask it to do is one var stats. We want it to run all the one variable, standard one variable statistics. With the TI-84+, it's going to then ask you to acknowledge that we've got list one here as my all the data that I have is in list one I don't have anything for this frequency so go ahead if there's something there go ahead and erase it there's no frequency list here it, all the data is just in list one and then hit calculate if you have an older version of the calculator then what you'll want to do instead is uh, it won't it won't have a little menu for that just hit one of our stats hit enter and it'll assume that all of the data is in list one that you need Okay, so now that I'm here, all of the information that I need is right here. Let's look at how each of these values shows up in my, on my calculator reporting screen. The mean is the X with the bar over the top of it. That's standard statistics shorthand for the mean of a data set. So in this case, if I look over here at the X bar, the mean is 47.75. You could verify that that's the average. You add everything up and divide it by 8, and you would get 47.75. The standard deviation is the S of X listing here. So if I glance over here, my standard deviation is 15 point, we'll just say 17. Uh, and so that S of X value is the one that we want to use for that one. Uh, this is a huge pain to calculate by hand, so it's really, really nice if we uh, can just have the calculator do all that work for us. The five number summary is made up of the minimum, Q1, the median, Q3, and the maximum. And we can find all of that information on this data list as well. Uh, it does not show up on the main screen right when you start, but notice there's a little let down arrow here to the left. That means there's still more data coming. So I'm just going to click the down arrow a bunch of times until I see it fill up on my screen here. The minimum shows up as min x. It's gone through the list and found the smallest one there, which in this case was 38. The first quartile is identified as Q1, so that's 40. So a, a, a quarter of the data is 40 or 40 minutes or below. The median is reported as MED, and that's 41.5. So half of the commute times were less than 41 and a half minutes, and half the commute times were more than 41 and a half minutes. Uh, Q3 
is 49. And my maximum value, max x, is 83. And so I've been able to identify that five number summary. So from this point, I could answer questions about my data set here. Uh, I know the average and the standard deviation, or I could use the five number summary to describe the data set or to draw a box and whisker plot fairly simply. So again, stats is your home base for everything. Under the edit menu, that first thing will let you edit your lists and add the data in. And under the calc menu, we're able to click on one of our stats and you'll see all of these pieces of information show up in your list. All right, sometimes instead of giving you a list of data like we did here, what they're going to do instead is give you a frequency table like this one. In this particular set of problems, it says that we have the number of cups of coffee consumed each day. And I did a survey of a bunch of different people and rather than just have a big list of every single person that I surveyed, because there's a lot of them here. Um, instead, I decided to just make a table. So if I use my table here, notice that zero was an answer five times, one was an answer eight times, two was an answer seven times, three was an answer two times, and six was an answer one time. I'm expecting my mean, for example, to be between zero and six, somewhere in the middle there, probably close to one or two, because that's where most of the data points lie. How do we figure everything else out exactly? Well, let's go ahead and enter my values in the calculator. Click the stat button and choose edit. We'll go ahead and clear out the list that I have here because I want to enter some new data. So we hit clear and then enter. And now I'm ready to go through and enter the values from my table. Now you could go through and you could enter zero five times. We can enter one eight times. You can see this is going to be a huge pain in the neck and we really don't want to do that. So what we can do is we can use the calculator functions. I'll go ahead and clear that list out. We can use the calculator functions to actually enter it in just as a table just like this and have the calculator do all the background work for us. In this case, we always want to put the number, uh, our, our question answers in L1 and then our frequency, which is how many times that answer is repeated in L2. So here, I, my answers that I got were 0, 1, 2, 3, 6. Make sure, and then we're going to arrow over to the right, and now I'm going to enter all of the frequencies in list 2. Make sure that you line up the uh, frequency with the actual answer. So 0 was an answer 5 times, so we enter 5 there. 1 was an answer 8 times, 2 was an answer 7 times, 3 was an answer 2 times, and then 6. Kind of an outlier value there was answered once. So. If you have a frequency table, we can actually just enter the table here using list one and list two. What's different now is what you want to do is hit the stat button and we still want to arrow over to calc. This time we want to run one of our stats and our question is going to ask us for our list of answers was in L1 and then the frequency we want to say was in L2. Now notice the L2 button in the calculator is in blue here above the number two. Oops, let's go ahead and back that up there didn't mean to do that. What we want to do is hit the second button here so it's in blue and then we want to hit two for it to show. Oh, let's try that again. Hit the second button and then two so that L2 shows up in the list. Sorry my stylus is a little bit picky here and what's pushing the buttons uh, on the computer. So here list one list two and we're just the blue button and then the two to get that and then hit enter again to have it calculate. Oh my goodness, let's just start over here. Stat, arrow over to calc, one of our stats, enter, here we go. List one, the second two to get L2, hit enter again, and then hit enter again to calculate. There we go. Okay, so in this case, notice that my mean is the X bar still. Everything is fine. Uh, my average value was 1.48 cups of coffee. My standard deviation, or S of X, was 1.34. So not a lot of variation in this data set, which makes sense because our cups were all between zero and six. There wasn't a very big range. Use the down arrow to find my uh, five number summary. My min x was zero. Smallest answer that I ever got was zero. My q1 in this case was one. Oh, I try that again a little bit here. Min x is the minimum, which was zero. Q1 is the first quartile, which in this case was 1. My median in this case also happened to be 1, so that meant I had a lot of answers of 1 in my list, which makes sense if you see how many there were there. 
my Q3, which is where 75% uh, of the data was two or less. And then my maximum value, of course, was that outlier of six that was really high up on the list when I did that. So again, here's my five number summary, and I could use that to draw a box and whisker plot of my values. Um, if you have an older version of the calculator, when you hit the stat button and hit arrow over to calc and hit one var stats, uh, what's going to show up on your calculator screen isn't a list like this. It's just going to say one var stats on your calculator. And if you have a list, if you have a frequency table like this, you're going to go L1, then you're going to use the comma button on your calculator, and then type L2, and then you can hit enter from there. So it you just go right through where it says uh, one var stats, and then tell it L1, comma, L2, using the buttons, and then hit enter, and that will do exactly the same thing in your screen. Output will show up exactly the same way that it did here in my video. I hope that's helpful uh, and good luck working on calculating some basic statistics for the data sets that you need for your homework and um